Hey Crunch Heads, this is Crunch Time Presents. Uh, today we're going to be talking about DIY screen printing, something I've been doing for a year now. It's been a lot of trial and error, but I'm going to tell you about my trial and my error and kind of teach you how to fucking do it. So step one is you need your emulsion. So what we're doing is photo light sensitive emulsion. So you need the emulsion, you need the sensitizer. You're going to mix the sensitizer with halfway up the bottle with distilled water, which we got here today. Uh, shake it, agitate it, and then pour into this and mix. But yeah, so it's super simple. This is just what you need. Uh, it's light sensitive. So there is a motion where you put it on the screen and around what you want the design to be. This is you cover the entire screen. Uh, you'll print out your design on a transparent piece of paper. You can get that like Kinko's. It's not that expensive. I've, I've done it. It's doable. Uh, you need like two sheets is good. You tape them together. You would put it on top of the screen with a see-through piece of plastic over it. The light would go through uh, all the part of the, the motion that the light hits hardens, but the part covered by that transparency, the black ink, doesn't, and then that will wash off. But that's the kind of broad idea of the whole plant. Right now, we're just gonna mix this emulsion together. So let's get to it. All right, so I got the sensitizer. Uh, got a gallon of distilled water. This is gonna be more than you need. So if you know someone with spare distilled water or you just got like a piercing, use that shit because it's a lot of water for a little task. All right. Probably pour it into a measuring cup first to make it easier to pour into this because I've tried doing a big container into a small thing. It doesn't work. All right, you're gonna open the sensitizer and sometimes it's crystals on the side of the container. Uh, I haven't messed with this brand before, but it looks like it's just powder. So the water will mix with the powder, you shake it, and then voila. You wanna halfway fill it. Now that's very important, halfway. Half, that, yeah. that looks about halfway. Yeah, you wanna take a little, a little photo on this? Let's call that halfway. If it's not, don't tweet me. I don't have a Twitter. Yes, I do. I'm not telling you it. <laughs> Actually, not tweet me. I like attention. <laughs> All right, so agitating it, it's just shaking it, you know? Just, just like Outcast would. Man, if, if y'all knew sign language, that would make communication a little easier, <laughs> silently. <laughs> oh no, everyone's leaving the room. I can do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so shake, 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 shake it, metro station. Let's open this shit up, all right. Mm. So uh, on the front of it says stop, because it's letting you know that you need to do this first. Very important. Uh, what also is important is knowing how to open the container. <laughs> Give instructions to open your damn containers, but I can't open this goddamn. <laughs> Vapor lock seal, all right. Don't know how to open it. Am I just weak? Can someone try this? Can someone fucking... It looks just like a lid. Hey companies, make your shit openable. It says it's a reusable lid. Which, isn't that what a lid is? Yeah. <laughs> this may be a non-starter because... How to open Ryanette emulsion. Is, is that still going? I'll edit this. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't get on close. Uh, I would try to get that off, Sam. God damn it. Ooh. Have you ever played Splatoon? <laughs> it's messy. So with very little struggle, uh, we were able to get this open. A uh, little tip, don't wear clothes you like while doing this. I'm making that mistake because this shit's bad for clothes. Sensitizer that you've mixed half with distilled water. And you know, you just pour it in. Ooh, that's an uh, interesting color. Uh, some emulsions like green, some's blue, this one's pink. And, ooh, looks like it may be orange in the end. We'll, we'll find out. Oof. 
Mix it up, mix it up. Really pulled the stuff from the bottom to the top. Now, I know it looks good. Don't eat it. It doesn't smell good. Humans, we're still necessary. All right, so now this is looking much more consistent. All right, now, uh, once you've mixed it, here's the thing. So a lot of screen printing, they'll give you directions and treat like it's an exact science. It's not a fully exact science. I'm going to stop looking at the people in the room and only the camera, because you're all that matters. Uh, on, on the can, it said, let's sit for two hours for all the bubbles to go away. But then on the website for the same fucking product, it said 30 minutes. So it looks like the company can't even agree on what you're actually supposed to do. So I'd say just give it some time. I've also just gone straight from mixing to pouring and the bubbles haven't been that much of a problem. Depends if you want to do things loosey goosey, by the books. All right, at this point, I think I'm just mixing for fun because this looks like a good consistency. Because like when I was first started mixing, like you saw, it's, it's water on top of, I don't even know what to call emulsion. What's thick liquid called? Viscous. Shit. Yeah, so it's more of a viscous now. Uh, so you usually want to try to save as much as possible, always, because come on, you know it. We don't, we don't, we don't got a lot of money here. Who's, who's your favorite Phoenix band? Comment below. And you can't say Jimmy World. All right. So, we're gonna let this sit for 30 minutes, but lucky for you, the viewer, we already have some prepared. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> 